we want to find the inverse Laplace transform of big F of S in order to find the function F of T. So beginning with the given function big F of S equals two S divided by the quantity S squared plus 16 plus five divided by the quantity S squared plus 16. We'll take the inverse Laplace transform of both sides of the equation, which will give us the inverse Laplace transform of big F of S equals the inverse Laplace transform of 2s divided by the quantity s squared plus 16 plus the inverse Laplace transform of 5 divided by the quantity s squared plus 16. Now looking at our table of Laplace transforms, because we're given the function big F of s and we're trying to find the function f of t, we'll be using the table in this direction here so on the left side of our equation, the inverse Laplace transform of big F of S is equal to F of T, which is what we're looking for. So we have F of T equals, now we need to figure out which formula to use to find the inverse Laplace transforms on the right side. Notice how both the denominators are the quantity S squared plus 16, and here we have a numerator of 2S, and here we have a numerator of 5. So we'll be using these two rows in order to determine the inverse Laplace transforms. Notice how here we have a numerator of S, and here we have a numerator of A, which is a constant. So let's rewrite the right side as two times the inverse Laplace transform of S divided by the quantity S squared plus 16, plus five times the inverse Laplace transform of one divided by the quantity S squared plus 16. So now looking at this inverse Laplace transform, notice how it fits this form perfectly. The numerator is S and the denominator is S squared plus A squared, where A squared is equal to 16, meaning A equals four. But now looking at this inverse Laplace transform, again, we know that S squared plus A squared is equal to S squared plus 16. So because A equals four, the numerator must be four as well, and right now it's one. So let's rewrite one as the fraction four over four. Now what we can do here is factor out one fourth, so we just have four in the numerator. So let's rewrite this one more time. We have f of t equals two times the inverse Laplace transform of s divided by the quantity s squared. Let's write 16 as plus four squared so it fits the form perfectly. And now here we're going to factor out one fourth, so we'll have plus five fourths times the inverse Laplace transform of, factor out one fourth, we're left with four, divided by the quantity S squared. Again, let's write 16 as four squared. So again, notice how both inverse Laplace transforms now fit these forms perfectly, where in both cases A equals four which means f of t is equal to two times this inverse Laplace transform, which again, because a is equal to four, is equal to cosine four t. Then we have plus five fourths. This inverse Laplace transform is in this form where a equals four, so the inverse Laplace transform is sine four t. So we have five fourths sine four t. So by using inverse Laplace transforms, we're able to find the function f of t, which is what we enter here. Two times cosine four t plus five fourths times sine four t. I hope you found this helpful.